The following presentation is brought to you by our sponsor, Smunchy Games. Please visit our sponsor at www.smunchygames.com. You can purchase Pokemon plushies, beanies, and Pokemon boxes at that website. Please enter Tesla at checkout. That's Tesla, T-E-S-L-A, all lowercase letters. You get 5% off of your purchase. Smunchygames.com. What is going on, Mouse Up? It's a Tesla Mouse here, the Ion Interregional Champion. Today we are taking on Trevor, the same person we defeated last week for Tanner Tail, but today we are taking him on in the Challenge Cup Tournament match. So let's go to singles automatically and let me show you the team that I am bringing today. Really hoping does not bring a Sun team, but we are bringing the following. We are bringing Durngar, the Age of Slash with the moves, Shadow Snake, Secret Sword, Sword Zan's the King Shield with the Weakness Falsy. We're bringing Your Funeral, the Mega Gardevoir, Hyper Voice, Psy Shock, Hidden Power, Ground, and Calm Mind, Flying Tesla, the Zapdos, Thunderbolt, Heat Wave, Roost, and Defog, Entei with Sacred Fire, Bulldoze, Iron Head, and Extreme Speed, Choice Banded, uh, Volt Switch, Hunter Pump, Willow, and Pain Sweat, Undrop the Soap, the Royal Wash with the Citrus Berry, and Landorus Eye, Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Psychic, and Rock Polish. So obviously there's an item clause. In this league, so we got Age of Slash with the Weakness Policy, Gardevoir with the Mega Stone, um, Zapdos with the Leftovers, Entei with the Choice Band, Royal March with the Citrus Berry, and Landorus Eye with the Life Orb, man. The Life Orb. Alright, let's go. Let's get this battle started. As we take on Trevor, I kept him waiting long enough. We were supposed to have a match Thursday, but he didn't get um, to the computer in time to tell me what's up. We were supposed to have the bell last night. He unfortunately wasn't around. We're finally going to get this bell on today. So hopefully, we can get this over with. So we did bring a Sun team last week. We did pretty much outplay him. But hopefully he doesn't bring the Sun team this week. Because I don't really got anything to deal with the Charizard Y. Maybe the Zapdos. I don't know how well the Zapdos can take it in attack. A heat wave from Charizard Y in the Sun. Being that mine is not especially defensive. It's actually physically defensive. So here we go. Uh, good luck to him. Have fun and let's do it. Maybe I'll switch his team up because he ran that against us last week. It didn't really work out for him that well. Let me hide the bottom screen and we'll get this going. So I'm not bringing Mega Salamence this week. There's really no need to. So we're waiting for him to accept. And here we go. Good luck to you. Have fun, sir. And we're going to... You're going to do this. This is not for the Iron Interregional Championship, I have to stress. This is for the uh, Challenge Cup Tournament. I believe we are currently either 2 or 3 and 1. And I don't remember. I wasn't really keeping track. Alright. He is brain. Do not bring the Sun Team, please. He is brain. Okay, I, I accept that. He basically has three of the same Pokemon as us. He's bringing Gardevoir, Rotom Wash, Talonflame, Age Slash, Garchomp, and Therothorn. So, this will be interesting. Rotom, uh, Talonflame, Therothorn, Garchomp, Gardevoir, and Age Slash. Cool, it, he looks like he's bringing a Mega Gardevoir team. Unless he has Mega Garchomp on it instead, but there we go. We'll leave off the, I don't know, yeah, we'll leave off the Rotom. It's fine. It should be good. Good luck to him, have fun, and let's do this! So well, here we go. Hopefully he leaves up... I don't mind if he leaves up any of the Pokemon except for Gardevoir. I don't want him to leave, leave off the Gardevoir. That'd be awful for us. That'd be the worst. Alright! Let's see what he is bringing. I find that ironic that we both brought the same Mega. This is very ironic. His lead is going to be Fangorn the Therothorn, which is fun with me, actually. I, I honestly don't mind that. What I want to do here is I want to go for Willowisp, actually. 
and burn a serotonin. I don't really care about bull switching out right now. So what does he switch? What does he do? He will see it. Uh, drop the silk and roll marshal, burn the terror unfortunately. Then you go for power whip. Whitney, baby. Whitney. With my rotor. Doesn't really do that much. The terror is burned. I think I'm going to take this opportunity to volt switch into this Flying Tesla Zapdos. We all remember Flying Tesla Zapdos from the National Pokemon Association Season 1. We remember him, don't we? Yeah, it's good to see him. Good to have him back here. Oh, we used Flying Tesla on the PMU before I dropped out, so. Come on, Flying Tesla. Oh, we're still crossing adjusting. Is there its pressure? Self rocks? Yeah. Yeah, we remember Flying Tesla, guys. We love Flying Tesla. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for a Defog. He's gonna draw his Terrothorn, which is fine. Or Sharky, which would be the Garchomp, sadly. I know this thing is Scarf. I'm very sure it's Scarf. What am I out to this thing? I know he has Stone Edge. He might have Stone Edge. He definitely has Stone Edge, actually. If it takes out my Zapdos and Stone Edge, it's cool. Because then I just switch into, um, Entei. You get a free Secret Fire off on whatever he switches in. Rock Slide. Okay, so he's going for Rock Slide. How much does that do to my... Oh, it doesn't, doesn't really do half. Cool. We're going with Heat Wave here, we don't have any more ice on this Zapdos. Maybe we can like a burn or something. We do have pressure up, so... His Rock Slides will lose power points. Go for Roost. Rock Slide, he could be choice. Don't kill, don't flinch, don't flinch. There we go, Roost. Roost it up! I'm not sure exactly how much power points Rock Slide has, but I guess we're gonna just keep going for heat waves and see what happens. I'm gonna switch to this Lord too. Yeah, this Garchomp is losing power points on the Rock Slide, which is good. We got him in a very awkward position, so he's going to go for yet another Rock Slide. That's cool. That's cool. Ooh, it might, that might have been a crit, right? It's not a crit. So basically all we're doing is just trying to PP stall out the Rock Slides. I'm going to probably go for, I don't know, should I go for Roost or should I switch to Aegislash? That is the question. We're, we'll switch to Aegislash. Then we'll double out into Zapdos. So an Age of Slash here. The Rock Slide's not going to Well, Age of Slash avoids the attack, so we could have actually gotten a free Roost off there, but let's go back into Zapdos. Or Flying Tesla. We're going to try Sharky the Garchomp, and he's going to switch into Goldberry. So you wrote him, interesting. Just double back out into Flying Tesla. This will give us some free leftovers recovery. Then what we want to do here is Roost Up. I'm going to Roost Up and see what he wants to do. He might go for will o -Wiss. That he does. It doesn't really matter that much because the leftovers recovery will completely offset We'll completely offset the burn, so it's it's cool. It's good. Go for a T-bolt though. Woo! That T-bolt did over 50%, but that was a crit. And this is just very that's not good. It's very bad actually. Well switch, that's fine. We'll just switch into this one.
So it's probably going to switch into, I'm guessing, guard shot, maybe? Or Gardevoir? I see Gardevoir as a possibility. We got Zapdos out, we got Flying Test with Zapdos out, playing the finest of work. Sharky, okay. Eesh, I don't know what to do against this thing. He might predict us to go into Rotom Wash. Well, I mean, not Rotom Wash, Aegis Slash, but it's in the Rock Slide. I want to go for a Roost. I want to see what he's going to do. Go for a Dual Shot. Interesting. Is that a kill? That is a kill. Doesn't come close. We're running Dual Shot and Guard Shot. We could switch into Gardevoir predicting that, I guess. We want to do that? Is that something we want to do? Hmm. We're going to Yorkino and Guard. So hopefully, he doesn't see that coming. He's going to withdraw. All right, he's probably going to go Age of Slash, knowing him. Yep, that was a good play on his part. Hate to admit it, but that was a good play. I think right here we go for him. Oh, actually, I think right here we actually go into Entei. To be honest, we'll switch to Entei. I'm going go for plus two or something, I don't really care. I'm just going to empty. So do- oh, I hate this thing. hate you already. Substitute Aegis Slash. Great. What's this thing be, um, Weakness Policy? I don't know if Weakness Policy activates behind the sub or not. Please switch out. Probably got Toxic on this Age of Slash too. We do know that Age of Slash has Substitute. We know the Dark Shaman is Dual Chop. Wow, uh, we miss our we miss our um, Stick of Fire. Ain't that cool? So it's not weakness policy. Um, I don't know why I said that. We do know that is Iron Heady is substitute. Don't miss your Sacred Fire this time. I like how when I fight someone with Sacred Fire, they never miss it, but I just missed it. Probably like cold and ironic. Shall I see you guessing? King Shield, you do that, buddy. You do that. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, you got shots in front of That's cool, then. We're gonna go to Zapdos. We're gonna switch right back into Zapdos. If that substitute broke, I would've just... would've been in a good position. But of course, we missed the Sacred Fire. For watch Ironhead. This Age Slash is gonna be extra annoying. Yeah, you do that. I also think it has a setup move, so I guess we can go for T Bolt here. Get rid of that sub. Hopefully, it doesn't have Toxic on this Age of Slash. That'd be really awful.
So I think, there we go, it's not gonna kill. I know it's not gonna kill. Yeah, it's not gonna kill. You can keep shots taking iron heading away. This power point's gonna be depleted in no time. It doesn't really matter. You can do that, it's okay. So I think you do that. You do you, buddy. You do you. Sub is broken. Awesome. I'm not gonna keep the shield. I don't know. Go for roost. Go for roost on this um. Is that those? The problem is we both have the same three Pokemon: Rotomosh, Gardevoir, and Aegislash. Slash. So it comes down to mind games. There's no choice Age Slash, we got rid of that thing, we scared that thing out. Sharky the Guard Chomp. I think what I want to do is here is go for a Heat Wave. I think Heat Wave would be my best bet here, and then we can see what he's going to lock himself into. Go for a Heat Wave. See what he wants to do. Probably gonna, I'm gonna go for rock slide. Rock slide. We do avoid the attack. He does avoid the attack himself. Do I go for a T-Ball expecting the switch? I think I'm gonna go for the safe play and hit him with a heat wave. That might be the best idea. I mean he could switch to the Gardevoir expecting the Age Slash, but nope, he's gonna stay in. He's gonna flinch us in predicting, right? He flinched me just like he flinched when my when I got bullied in middle school. Looking for a roost in case he um, runs out of rock slide or something. Struggle? Okay. Please don't kill. Alright, so his guard shot is now struggling because it ran out of power points thanks to pressure. That's why I'm glad I brought pressure to zap those this week instead of. You know what? I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into the lane of eye. No, I'm not. I'm not going for Land of Iron. Look over a Heat Wave though. See if he'll switch or something. Go to a Sharky, he's gonna go in too. Gardevoir, okay. Gardevoir is coming. Gardevoir is coming, boys. Look for a Heat Wave, he exerts his pressure. No one really cares. Heat Wave hits. Probably over a hyper voice. I don't know. I might go for a shot ball instead, to be honest. We'll go on a uh, We'll go on an age slash, because if he hits a shot ball, at the very least we can get the weakness policy on. And that'd be cool. So it's not gonna switch his guard war out. We're gonna during guard the age of slash. Go to the Mega Evolution. Uh, 
Go for Call Mine? That's fine. I mean, I guess. It goes for a shot. It goes for a shot ball. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good, boys. It's all good if you go for a shot ball. Go for a shot sink, though. I can afford to let Aegis Slash go down here. He's gonna draw his guard. His guard bar. Okay. He's gonna go into Goldberry the Road and Launch. or something. We'll go for a guard bar as well. That's what we're gonna do. Well that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something very risky here. Something that might not be very intelligent. I'm gonna hard switch right into Lando I predicting an Aegis Slash switch. Let's see if I read this guy correctly. Hopefully he does switch in his Aegis Slash. Alright, please switch. Please don't go for Hydro Pump. Please don't go for Hydro Pump. Or go for Volt Switch, I don't care. Alright, so it goes for Volt Switch. I'm gonna go for a Psych. I'm gonna go for a psychic actually, yeah. I'm gonna go for a a sheer force boosted psychic on this Rotom Watch. The Rotom is taken down. Sweet. So Rotom is dead. I think this still has a stupid talent flame as well. Valor would be talent flame. Oh yeah, piece of shit. How are you doing? How are you doing, you piece of poop? Um, we'll go for a sheer force sludge wave, I guess. Killing? Interesting. You do you, buddy. You do you. Hmm. He might go for brain bird now. We might go for brain bird. Let's switch Lindo I out. Exert the pressure, so he's got tail in the Zephyrus and goes for Bribbard. Which hopefully the recoil will take him out. That'd be awesome. No, it doesn't, but that's okay. We'll go for Roost. Or he can just take himself out with Raybird or Flare Blitz or whatever. I'm gonna go for Roost as well. We'll go for Roost on the um, Zapdos. We don't have a Rock Setter this week. Kind of regretting that, to be honest with you. Go for Brother and Talonflame is knocked out. So, yeah. And we do get to Roost off successfully because Zapdos is not just that tanky, really. Zapdos gets healed with leftovers, gets the roost off. We're at half health with um, Flying Tesla, roughly. So that was Garchomp carries Dual Chop. No, doesn't have any more power points to Rock Slide. You could switch to Gardevoir. So what is he going to do? Sharky. Alright, there's no. Unless you have a second rock type move on this guard shop. Let's go for Roost. Perfect, that's fine. 
Actually, this gives me a perfect opportunity to go into my own Lando Eye and set up. And set up a rock polish here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't want to do that. So when Pinter is out, yeah, we're gonna go to Lando Eye. This will give us a chance to set up a rock polish on him. I don't want to set up a rock polish right now because he has that Therosaur in the background. If he has a Gyro Ball, it's gonna fucking destroy my Lando Eye. Pick the Gyro Ball, here we go. So we double up, so we switch on to Lando Eye. We're gonna go for a sheer force, life orb boosted sludge wave on this guard bar. He knows that we're carrying the sludge wave. He knows it. And we're gonna go for the sludge wave. Does that kill guard bar at this range? It does. Alright, guard bar is down. It was Guard Shop. He has Therothorn, and he has something else, Age Slash left. Speaking of the Devil, there's the Age Slash. We'll go for Earth Power right here. With the Stealth Rocks, that's not really going to matter. That doesn't really matter at all. And we'll go for Earth Power. To knock out the sterile thorn. But I haven't put my cap on my pen back on after I'm done writing, so I need to stop there. So the thorn is down. Sharky, I don't know. This thing can go for dual chop in a New York minute. I'm gonna just set, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stack up the Gardevoir, and here's why. I'm gonna use Garbar. Worst case scenario, it switches into um, Age of Slash. Yeah, he earthquakes my Garbar, takes it out. Then I just go for uh, Lando Eye and get a Rock Polish shot. Well, hopefully, it goes to a Dual Chop, though. Dual Chop, yeah. We're gonna go Rain Power Ground on the Garbar, though. Let's go Rain Power Ground. He's gonna draw the guard shot, he's gonna go to Age of Slash. That's fine. I intended to sack off the guard bar to an earthquake, but that obviously wasn't an option. That's okay though, that's that's okay. That is okay. We go for a sub here. The power ground. Yeah, he's gonna go for a sub most likely. Does he have enough for a sub? No, he's gonna go for Iron Head actually. Works for me. If we lose our guard bar, it's not a big problem. We don't really need it. We don't really need it at all. So it's, it's cool. Question is, do we go for Rock Polish, predicting the King Shield? Or do we just go for Earth Power? I think the safe play would be going for Earth Power here. We'll go for Earth Power. No, I should have went for Rock Polish. It doesn't matter. I think we have this match one either way. We got the match one. It's, it's cool. Because he can only go for dual chop if we have Lando I, Romwash, and Zapdos on the team. He can't go for Earthquakes, because then he just gets locked in. Which, oh, he's going to switch into Guard Shot now. Look at Sheer Force, Life Orb Boosted, Earth Power should take you out. Yeah, it takes out the Guard Shot. I don't think the crit was necessary. But I'm very sure it wasn't. It was at half health. So here comes Aegis Slash and Earth Power will knock this thing out and that will be GG.
So good game to Trevor. Thank you so much for the battle, dude. I appreciate it a lot. And this match will actually actually be uploaded on the same day it takes pl take place because it's a Sunday now. And we usually upload our Ion League matches on Sunday. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So this match should be up within the next hour or so. But thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more fantastic Wi-Fi Battle action. And I will catch you on the flip side. And remember, stay salty, Rage Quitters. Stay salty. Woo-hoo!